So I got to America. I grew up in the Bronx there. I went to, uh, to school. And after I finished uh, college, we decided we'll come to, to Israel. It was the decision of both of us. The whole group, actually, were 10 couples. And, uh, well, we just finished college. We didn't have jobs. We didn't have responsibility. It's a good time to come. And uh, so we came. Uh, we came to, to La Vie specifically because the children lived at home. It was only, I say, it was the only kibbutz at the time when I came. That the children lived in the hope, and that's what we wanted. Um, I don't know what else you can, that's about. When you look back at it, I mean, 46 years later, yeah. what do you think? I mean, how, how, what, well, to tell what, you the truth, I'm, 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 what? Did, did it you know, your I'm rather and, disappointed how it turned out. Really? Now, I mean, the country, I mean, not living on kibbutz, yeah. but the country as a whole. Mm -hmm. yeah? I say, I came here with big ideals, but, you know. Well, what's your disappointment in the country? Well, I did a lot of uh, corruption in the, in the, in the politics, in the yeah. politics, especially you know, uh, the with the with the Arabs, with the Palestinians, uh, all kinds of things that didn't turn out uh, exactly the way you wanted it. But that's the that's life. You can't do it. I mean, living on keyboards. I mean, a lot of things I don't like on keyboards also, but I can't move every time I don't like something. I try to change it. I can't change it, so uh, live with it. That would be my struggle. Is, is in my own home. On my own property, how I raise my, but my kid outside the home is subject to all Israeli laws and stuff, and so if he, right, the set, but right. but now when you get into, but if you get into this communal, then you get into the but that's boundaries the point. Are sort you of think that he joins the morally obligated, even anything that you talk about work or, or, or being religious, whatever it is. You would think morally obligated to join the community like this. You do whatever you can to make it better, so to speak. Mm -hmm. I guess it's not like that. They, they don't feel the, the responsibility of uh, living in a community like this. That's why we we have this process of accepting members. It takes a long time because we don't want parasites, so to speak, and uh, try to get people who aren't, uh, you know, uh, it would seem to me to take a somewhat of a unique breed of person that, uh, to live in a community I guess, really, relationship. Yeah. I mean, you have to give up a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's why more, three of my boys or, left. Because the, the, the wives didn't, didn't, uh, didn't want other people deciding for them. You know? Like I say, we build a house, we decided we're going to build houses all to one. But you can't do anything on the outside of the house, whatever you want. You can do whatever you want inside, but you can't touch the house outside. That's the way it is. Until there's a decision of the whole community to whatever it is. So that's, uh, that's again, you either you live with it or you don't, or you leave. If someone emigrates to Israel and they live in the kibbutz, well, whether they live in the kibbutz or not, are, are, do they have to do any mandatory military service? It depends what age, what the situation they need. From what I understand now, they have so many people volunteering for the army that they don't, uh, that they don't uh, look for people to... Well, I guess you have to do some kind of military service just to uh, fulfill your requirements, but uh, not three years, that's certainly not. Yeah.